Alright, well, let's see about uh, the Yakuza guys that we fought at the beginning when we met uh, Mama for the first time. Uh, this one is Chimpei Bagai, male 24, September 14. Kamakura gang member, he likes ass. I even plural, just ass. <laughs> Erotic Nabos, his boss. Dislikes police, his big brother. Animal cruelty, hobbies, training dogs. Aw. Skills won a dog training contest. That's lovely. He's the lowest ranking member of the Kumakuras. He once had dreams of pursuing the top spot in the gang, but has since decided that he would rather focus on training his favorite dog. So basically, he's doing this for some money to to spend for food and such. <laughs> what about the other guy? Dokuda Yugano, male 42, March 14th. Kumakura, Kumakura gang member, he likes dominatrixes, dislikes domestic violence, hobbies, dissection, skills, searching, uh, okay, and perhaps due to the way he looks, he's often mistaken for a lower ranking member, even though he is toward the top. He typically does office work. He has recently fallen in love and lost a lot of weight. Okay, well that's lovely. Okay, a couple of things that I want to mention before we continue with this. No one knows who uh, their leaders are. Okay, thank you for ending that. But uh, the thing is, though... Yeah, first things first, uh, like, the frame rate is going crazy right over here. I go back over here, the frame rate is going, like, super, super low, and then I go back over here and it's just fine. Except it's not. Okay, what the hell is the deal with this, this portion over here? It's like... I started this, like, two times and it just drops frames like crazy. Ugh. Alright, a couple of things that I want to mention before we continue with this. Um, uh, there is something that somebody commented like in the last part about uh, Aiba's temperature detection. And since we know that one of the symptoms that uh, Iris has when it comes to her condition is, well, temperature changes and all that. So I guess we can already rely on uh, Iris, like Aiba's temperature de detector of sorts to see if she's lying or anything like that. I don't know, may maybe that is the case, in which case, eh. uh, The second thing is, I know that some of you have said that there is, like, the meaning behind the uh, Iris's joke, it, like, the partition joke was that she was making it sound like she was sneezing there when she was saying partition. But I don't know, maybe there is, there is more to it than that. I I'm gonna think about it a little bit more. There has to be more meaning to that. It can't be that easy. It has to be like the most complex joke in the in, in the entire adventure. It has to be. There has to be some meaning behind this. Like you've heard of the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, right? But for Nice, there's nothing. No one knows who's running the cult. My guess is that they're being led by a group of super geniuses. Ota doesn't know about the Wanchen system or its connections to Nice. Yeah. Something tells me that, well, not that something tells me that, it, it does feel like this is stuff that he recently, he stumbled upon on the internet, just basic stuff that could be false and all that, and he doesn't even know that much to begin with, so, eh, we haven't found Zilch about Nice and this. Iris found out just why they're after her. Pieces fit. If you believe everything she said. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Where's your mother? She's out right now. I'm not sure where. Shopping, maybe. Okay. Tessa is... My hopes and dreams. My peace and my life. My light, my star, my sun, my goddess. She's like the laws of the universe itself. The embodiment of beauty. An angel, a lover, a cute mascot to put on a body pillow. Meow. A guru, a wife, a soulmate, life itself. She's the object of my total devotion and worship. Where was that uh, signature from, um, from Kodaga? Oh, yeah, there you go. There, there, there was. Snuck lover and wife in there. I would ignore it. And like I told you before, I'm Tessa's thrall. If she calls for me, I'll be there. Thanks, Ota. That makes me happy. Okay. Alright, let's summarize for right now. Alright, Iris. Let's get going. You got it. 
Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? I'll come help right away. Me too! I'll save you no matter what, Iris. Thank you both. Promise me. I promise. Yeah, we're gonna promise you. That's for sure. Alright, well, let's see about some stuff. A lucky cat statue. Meow! What are you doing? Oh, you don't know? It's good luck to imitate a cat in front of one of these. Oh, I see. Well, you're not on board with that, Mizuki? You should be. Disposable chopsticks. Bookshelf. It's got stickers on the other side of it. Hey, Date, do you want this poster? Nah. Eh. No, not really. You know, if you rub the swimsuit with a coin, you can scrape it off. Ah, I know that from Sigma. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll throw it away for you. <laughs> hey, Date, I've got this video of a girl in a white shirt under a waterfall. Wanna watch? Absolutely not. I have Masanori's autograph too. From Shinsen Chatran. Masanori was here? He knows about this place? Who? It was from a long time ago. What has two arms and a face but no eyes? Hmm. Buddha. What the? Like the Buddha. He doesn't have eyes? Have you seen his eyes? But he's not blind. No, of course not. He sees all. All right, well... Hmm. You, do you have anything else to say? Nah, apparently not. Okay. Let's go and uh, see about... Sosijima a little bit. Let's... Let's go there and see what he's doing. At this point, I'm not expecting to find, like, anything of significance. But we're gonna go to Sejima's residence and, you know, just try and intimidate him a little bit every time There's we no go to him. So must be inside. Wait, I have detected a living organism in the garden. You should look around. Is that so? Huh, I wonder. Is somebody around here? A giant green blob. If you connect, if you if or connect, they disappear. Oh, never mind, that's a plant. <laughs> what? Okay. Is somebody here? Where's the life signal coming from? Hmm. I wonder. Memorando! That has to be Memorando. Nobody's around. Hmm. An island. Small island is Kojima in Japanese. <gasps> Kojima! The director Kojima? He's here? Oh my. It honestly wouldn't be that weird for him. But he's not there. Sadly. There's a small island in the pond, but it's not a Kojima. Oh, if there is like a cardboard box over here with a living organism inside it, I mean, that would explain it. <laughs> it had to be Kojima. A tree. Hmm. Mansion. No one is inside. No one is inside, you say? Hmm. So I guess there's always not here. If no one is inside, then... Hmm. I wonder. Ah, there Oh! Hitomi? What is she doing here? That's so. Next to him is... Hitomi? It looks that way. Why? What's Hitomi doing with so? Date? What's wrong? Huh. Iris hasn't noticed them yet. I decided to ask her about them. You said you don't know So Sejima, right? Right, I don't. What about your mom? Does she know So? I don't know. I don't think she does. Do you ever talk politics at home? Anything like that? Not particularly. Why are you asking me this? Nah, uh, it was at that moment. Two bodyguards dressed in black came running out at the mansion. They had panicked looks on their faces. Hey, hey, calm down, we guys. Told you, you can't come in here. Yeah, well, who says that? You can't do what you want just because you're a cop. You're trespassing. That's a crime, you know. Get lost. Yeah, no, I'm no use pushing it. 
If they call the HQ, we will get Ariste for sure. And what would happen to Iris? We will protect her. NICE is a huge organization. They have people everywhere. I cannot risk being caught. I won't be able to save Iris. Fine. Let's go, Iris. Yeah. Uh, Alright, fine. Let's go to Bloom Park and investigate some more, I guess. I took Iris to Bloom Park. I took my time, checking every inch of the merry go round. I mean, have we talked to... I don't think we've told Zilch to hit on me about... Uh, about Iris and whatever happened recently. Guess not. In this timeline, at the very least. Why did Ranger come here Friday night? Let's do place Shoko's body here? Or did he have another reason? Ranger is my friend. I want to believe him, but I don't know how long I can keep defending him. Where is he? What is he doing? I fought it over a thousand times. My head is heavy with it. I have suddenly snapped um, stamped me out of it. Wanna race, Date? Race? Yeah, we talked about it yesterday. You wanna challenge me? Well, sure. Yeah, let's do it! We'll start here and end here. Uh, right now? Are you, are you kidding me? So, we race around the merry-go-round? Right! Line up next to me! Alright, well... Before I even had a chance to reply, I just got set. I guess I have no choice. Eh, I might as well. We have the nice organization right around the corner. Renju and inmate 89 is gone. We still don't know Jack squat about what happened to Shoko and who murdered her, but eh, we have some time to race as well, I guess. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Ready? Set? Go! With the way you are running, Iris, eh, it will not be difficult whatsoever. I can't believe my eyes. I thought I must be dreaming. A second after the race had started, I was already two paces behind her. What? I couldn't close the gap. I'm sure her back gets smaller and smaller. You gotta be kidding me. I surely did not run like that in uh, Sosejima's uh, Somnium. What the hell? The messenger of the gods. You've earned your namesake. In which case, the way Iris was running in uh, Sosejima's uh, uh, Somnium was what uh, Date was thinking. In which case, shame on you, Date. Shame on you. <laughs> Do you know a lot about mythology? Huh? You said that Iris is a goddess in Greek mythology. Yeah, she said that a bunch of times, but. And three days ago, you were talking about Egyptian mythology. Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and the left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. That's what Iris told me three days ago. Horus's left eye is the eye of Wajet. Does that have any relation with the Wajet system? Yeah. Probably has like that uh, history of some sorts, like you know, e like every single evil organization or something like that has like a like ancient history behind it, behind their names or whatever. Oh, mythology? I actually don't know that much. Uncle taught me everything. Six years ago, I used to come here with someone all the time. I used to call him Uncle. Oh yeah, didn't he come up with a set too? Yeah, truly. Yeah, that's right. That name is rooted in Egyptian mythology too. That one too. Horus's mom is named Isis, but in ancient Egyptian, it's pronounced closer to Ise or Ase. Hmm. How do I explain this? How? Horus's father's name is Osiris, and his mom's name is Isis. So Osiris is Isis's husband. Osiris was assassinated by his brother Set. After Set killed Osiris, he tore his body to pieces and threw it into the river. 
Isis was devastated. I can't believe I'm a widow at my age. But she didn't let it break her. Because she had the power of life and death. And the power of dance, as we're soon going to figure it out as well. Alright, fine. If that's how it's going to be, I'll just revive my husband. With a group of her friends, she gathered up Osiris's body and started the resurrection ritual. Live! Shkrr! And so, Osiris was revived! The sound effects were also crucial in the resurrection trial, in the resurrection ritual. Well, technically he wasn't all there, so he wasn't in one piece. Just his torso. But anyway, Isis was the goddess of life, death, and fertility. She was worshipped by all the land. Hmm. Okay, that's lovely. I think I get the picture, but what does that have to do with your own name? There's a theory that the Greek goddess Iris is really based on the Egyptian goddess Isis. So Isis and Iris are connected? Yeah. And Isis sounded like Aset in ancient Egyptian. Which is where your stage name comes from. That's right. But remember, I didn't come up with the name. Her uncle. Hmm. So I guess that uncle is also pr pretty well informed in uh, mythologies like that as well, eh? How about the Eye of Wajit? Horus's arch enemy was Set, his uncle. His uncle? I told you earlier! Horus's father was Osiris, who was assassinated by his younger brother Set. Right, I see. Not only was he killed, he was shredded to pieces. So obviously Horus was pissed. Drat! I'll never forgive you, Uncle Set. On the other hand, Set didn't like having Horus around. Ugh, he's so annoying. Osiris said that I was supposed to be king. But now everyone's like, oh, Horus should be king. Are these idiots serious? Horus would be an awful king. Time to go to war! And so, a bloody war broke out. Just like that. And the winner was decided by a deadly game. What kind of game? They would disguise themselves as hippos, ford the river, and whoever gets to the other side first would win. That's what they decided. Eh? How oddly specific. Yeah, what the hell? So, for 80 years they fought. It lasted 80 years as well? Just doing that for like 80 years? Wow. It was bloody and horrible. Huh, I can imagine. In the end, Horus won. Horus used a spear to cut off Set's foot and Wee Wee. Wee Wee? Oh, okay, that's definitely not good. I believe she is referring to a male. Wait, why are you asking me? We didn't even ask you, Iba. I mean, we, we, it was just rhetorical. But Horus didn't come out of this unscathed. During the battle, Horus lost his left eyeball to Set. It said that the left eye survived and traveled all over Egypt, gaining wisdom and experience. What about the Wee Wee? Horus had no idea that his left eye was wandering around on its own. And not the Wee Wee? It wasn't wandering around on its own? What? Where did my eye go? Gaining the wisdom of gaining the wisdom of the world? Horus was totally bummed out. He went to see the god of wisdom, the moon, and time, Thoth. Thoth? Damn, Set did that? That's brutal, dude. Yeah, I mean, I guess that word was used even back then. Wow. All right, I'll use my moon power to heal you up. Yay, thank you, Mr. Thoth. Okay, here it goes. Moon healing power. Ring, ring, ring. Thoth cast his spell and Horus's eye came zooming in. Zoom, click. Horus got his eye back. Hooray, Thoth! <laughs> and from that day forward, his left eye had the power of the moon in it. It became the symbol of knowledge and healing, and revered as a sacred icon. So that's the Eye of Wadjet? Right. And it became the Eye of Providence? Yes! And do you think that's why we call it the Wadjet system? Probably, yeah. I mean, it does have connections to Y and such. How did it get so fast? I told you yesterday, 
I love moving around. Oh, that's right. And I especially love dancing. But hmm? about three months ago, Mr. Ogira told me something. He said that I can't dance. Why? Eh? I don't know. He said something about being over reliant on dancing and neglecting my singing. You should stop dancing for now and practice singing. But during your live stream, she was dancing. Because I was sad. After I stopped dancing, I lost so many fans. They said terrible things to me, like that I'm worthless if I can't dance. What? That's just stupid. <laughs> yeah, you cannot dance. What the hell? All I have is dancing. Just dancing. Huh. In the end, we didn't find any information on Ranju. But I'm not too upset. This is what a criminal investigation is about. You don't always find what you're looking for. Let's get going, Iris. Yeah, let's go. So you think that dancing is all you have? Hmm. All right, well, yeah, let's go to Marvel and have our Golden Yokocho shootout once more. Where are we going next? Marvel, Golden Yokocho. Wasn't that where we were attacked by Nice? It'll be fine. I didn't tell anyone we were going there. They won't be waiting for us. Besides, they wouldn't ambush us in the same place twice. But why Marble? No reason. I just need to talk to Mama. Hmm? Marble, Tuesday, 5.46 p.m. Sorry I couldn't come last night. Hey there, Mama. No, no, don't worry about it. It was better that you didn't. Huh? Mm hmm You didn't hear? There was a shootout right in front of the bar. They closed all of Golden Yokocho down. Oh, that sucks. Well, did you get to see something good, like back there, Mama? They were saying something about hitmen suddenly pulling out guns and shooting. They were trying to kill a man and a woman. Oh, that sucks. It really sucks. I know, Wait right? Wait a minute. Oh, what? Yep. I told Mama about last night. About Nice at Lost 2. Alright, well, I guess so. There's no point hiding it. Since it's Mama we're talking about, we can be free with her. Um, uh, oh, by the way, this is Iris. Sorry for the late introduction. This is Iris. Nice to meet you. I'm Aset. You bet. Oh, sorry. Have it. I meant Iris. Oh my, you are so cute. Are you a virgin? You are right. Oh, yeah. What a coincidence. Me too. Oh. Well, that's just... <laughs> oh, you don't say. Uh, I don't know. I mean, have you ever heard of Knives at Lost before, Mama? Sorry, honey, but I don't know a thing about that. You're an informant. I'm sure you must know something. I'm well versed in local information. I know all about Tokyo's underworld, but I can't say much about the rest of the world. So I guess there's a high probability that it's not Japanese. Or at the very least. So you're saying you know all about Tokyo's underworld, but not the rest of Japan? Hmm. I, I guess think so. They must be foreign mafia. 
some kind of international organization. Okay, so you're thinking as well that it's outside Japan. Hmm. They would do anything for money. Nice must have hired them. Hmm. Mama, I want to ask you something. What is it? Those gunmen were waiting for us. Did you tell anyone we were coming? That's right. You did tell Mama that you were coming. And we also did tell the boss that as well. And that you were bringing Iris. Although, you know, I'm not saying that it's, e that it's either boss or Mama that are responsible for bringing the gunmen here. It could very well be that somebody, like, the organization was listening on our phones and such. And they found out about our location. Even if Mama and boss did not want that, like, whatsoever. Hmm. Well, I did tell one person. Hmm? Who? Who? The person I was gonna have you meet, of course. Alright. Same guy who gave Ren his watch. What's his name? Futa, I think. Futa Amanoma. Futa Amanoma. <gasps> what? Pewter? That's... Pewter. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Mama is still polishing the right bonito fish. Uh. But what do you think of Mama? Isn't she? She's a delight. Isn't she precious? No, oh, aren't you nice? Are you looking for a job? Iris is still in high school. Yeah, just don't even think about it, Mama. How about after you graduate? Starting rate is six million yen an hour. Six million yen an hour. No. Date, I need a body so I can work here immediately. No, 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 no! Don't you dare. No, no, I, uh, we're not gonna go there. Wanna drink? No, I'm okay. What should we ask? Mama, what are you doing? Hmm, just polishing the bonito. Why? Why indeed. <laughs> okay, you, need, you don't need to make it that scary. Iris is sitting at my desk. You're just polishing bonito. Iris. Let me introduce you to Mama's little sister. That's a fridge! Mm. <laughs> alright, alright. Date, you're being an ass once more. Now you just keep being an ass about the refrigerator and, uh, and Mama. Beer! What? Beer? What? Don't like beer? Is that supposed to be a joke? You say stuff like that all the time. Are we just gonna yell the words all of a sudden? It's a menu. It has written on the back. Hmm, let's see. Jack Daniels! <laughs> okay. Picture on the wall. Radio, there's plenty of that. Blackboard. Hey, Date, it says beignet custard on the board. What is that? I think it's written wrong. It's supposed to be vernier thrusters. Um. Mama, you better order them quick or we won't be able to control the rocket. Uh-oh. I know, I know. I'll have the Vernier thrusters ready tomorrow. Thrusters? Rockets? Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I learned to stop worrying and love the bump. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Pretty cozy. But we gotta go. I gotta go to Abyss headquarters and ask uh, Pewter about some stuff. Pewter? Police headquarters. Tuesday, 7.05 p.m. There's no one here. Maybe he went home. No, that can't be. Pewter is definitely around here somewhere. Date, your intuition is correct. I am detecting a living organism nearby. I knew it. All right, Pewter. You are gonna ask her some questions here. Iris is looking around. Is Pewter in here? No, he's not. Uh, he's definitely inside the CRT monitors. I know. 
This pewter guy must be hiding inside the CRT monitor. Yeah, you're thinking like a like a detective over there, Iris. What is he, a contortionist? Of course he's not in there. Or maybe he's a ghost. <laughs> pewter is not in the middle shelves. Neither in the CRT monitors. What about a monitor? Strange car strings of characters and figure scrolls across the monitor. Hmm. Of course Pewter is not there. Take this search more seriously. I know this pewter guy must be hiding between the binders. What is he made of paper? Or he's a tiny person? Of course he's not in there. A binder full of papers, no pewter though. That's for sure. Hey. Hello there, Pewter. There's that bastard. Alright, Pewter. Come on out. This isn't a kidding game, you know. Get out. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. I'll tell you everything. You told those men that Iris and I were going to Golden Yokocho, didn't you? Yes, I did. Why? Who are those people? Renju hired them. Renju did? Okay, so it was Renju that hired them. Which means Mr. Okiura is in with Nice. Nice? Don't play dumb. I know you're with them. I don't know what you're talking about. I was just helping Renju. Hmm. Okay. If he's telling the truth, Favreau could be the totally different organization that has nothing to do with Nice. Hmm. But, okay. Did you help number 89 get away? How much does she know? Just answer the question. Yeah, you you helped a inmate 89 to escape, didn't you? That's why he knew so much about the layout of this place, and he needed you to come with him to the exit and go away with Renju. Yes, I did. It's been bothering me. How was number 89 able to escape from Metro so easily? With your help, of course. And you were the one being held hostage. If you were helping him the whole time, it all makes sense. Indeed. I'm out inmate 89's escape. Two days ago, Renju escaped from the hospital. Renju asked me on the phone to report everything about Shoko's murder case. That's what he wanted. Yesterday, the boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? I was conflicted. I thought hard about it, but it was Renju asking. Someone I love. Huh? And he sounded like he was on death's doorstep. He was begging for help. I couldn't say no. With my intelligence, I was quickly able to come up with a plan. Hmm. If what you're saying is true, then I guess you do care about Renju. Hmm. So I, I guess that means that you don't believe that Renju is the killer or something like that. But still, you let a prisoner escape, Pewter. Did you think about that? You know what the results were. Unless you think that inmate 89 is innocent as well. The escape happened exactly how I described earlier. Though, I wasn't being threatened with a gun. Yeah, basically. You were acting, huh? Just pretending to be his hostage. That's why you were even there in the first place, inside the room with Dati. You, like, you had like no reason to be there. Yes. Except be there for inmate 89 to escape. Of course. We discussed it when we were alone in the interrogation room. Naturally, he agreed. I imagine he would have taken any possibility of escape. Even if we failed, he was already serving a life sentence. Hmm. Why did Renju escape with 89? I don't know. It's true. Please, believe me. Renju said that he needed him. That's all I know. Why was Boss not present at 89's interrogation? I may not look it, but I have connections high up at HQ. Friends from my college days. I asked one of them to call up the boss. 
I guess so. We do know that Boss was not even around at that point when we interrogated 89, sadly. Is it true that you were the one who gave Renju his watch? Yes, that's true. There was no need to ask anything else. Why did Peter help Renju? His last answer was all I needed to hear. Where's Renju? I see. So where is Renju? Even if I knew, why would I tell you? Because you don't want more holes in your body than you already have. And... As much as Date is threatening you, we do want to help Renju if he's innocent in this. Just please tell us, Peter. You can't. Why not? Date, I didn't tell you all this because you were threatening me. I genuinely wanted you to know. To understand. The truth, Date. What are you talking about? There's a variable you haven't considered. I made Iba. And? And? You don't get it? Date, his hands! Oh no. Aiba! Damn it, Pewter! Date, calm down or it will compromise your ability to drive. If you crash, you will not be able to save Iris. Where is she? I don't know. Yeah. So then where the hell am I going? How would I know that? You acted on your own. What about her phone's GPS? I tried. It's been turned off. Then... No, wait! We do have uh, Mama's uh, GPS. Don't we? It's just an extra precaution. Put it somewhere they won't find it. I will call moment now. Yeah, Peter doesn't know about it. it. Hey, Dante, what's up? I explained the situation as well as I could. Hey, it's not our fault. Come on, just calm I down. No, I know. Yell at me later. Right now, I need you to tell me where she is. God damn it! After a short pause, Mama yelled out. Koto, Ariake, Harbor Warehouse District. What? What? That's where the cold storage warehouse is. That's where I saw Iris's dead body. <sighs> Again. All right, well, let's move on. Got it, thanks. I'm on my way there too. But mama? Oh, he's coming with the BB gun. Peter is gonna have it rough. <laughs> 